Solve the following rational equations. Check your answer in the original equation. 4 over x minus 7 is equal to 8 over x minus 6. So first let's note that x cannot equal 6, x cannot equal 7, and the LCD is x minus 7 by x minus 6. So I will multiply both sides of the equation by that quantity. On the left hand side the x minus 7's reduce out. On the right hand side the x minus 6's reduce out. So I'm left with x minus 6 times 4 and applying the distributive property. That's 4x minus 24. On the right hand side I'd have 8 times x minus 7. That's 8x minus 56. And so let's solve that linear equation. I'll subtract 8x from both sides. And I'll add 24 to both sides. Negative 4x is equal to, let's see, 56 minus 24, that would be a negative 20, let's see, negative 50, negative 32 and dividing through by the negative 4, x is 8. Let's check our work. 4 over 8 minus 7, is this equal to 8 over 8 minus 6? 4 over 1 is 4, 8 over 2 is 4. Exercise B, 3 over a plus 2 plus 5a over a minus 3 is equal to 75 over a squared minus a minus 6. Well, that's that last denominator there, that a squared minus a minus 6, I want to write that in this factored form, and it factors as a plus 2 by a minus 3. So let's note that a cannot equal negative 2 and a cannot equal 3. And that the LCD is in fact a plus 2 times a minus 3. So I'm going to multiply the entire equation, both sides, by a plus 2 times a minus 3. All right, so the left-hand side, I have a plus 2 by a minus 3 times 3 over a plus 2 plus a plus 2 by a minus 3 times 5a over a minus 3. And on the right-hand side, I've got 75 over a plus 2 times a minus 3 times a plus 2 by a minus 3. So now nice things should happen here. First term on the left, a plus 2's reduce. Leaving 3 times a minus 3, applying the distributive property, that's a 3a minus 9. Plus, in the second term, the a minus 3's reduce. Applying the distributive property, I would have a 5a squared plus 10a. On the right-hand side, the a plus 2's reduce and the a minus 3's reduce, so the left-hand side or the right-hand side is just a 75. Simplifying the left-hand side by combining like terms gives us 5a squared, 3a, 10a plus 13a minus 9 is equal to 75. So now this is a polynomial equation, um, a quadratic equation to be specific. So I'm going to subtract the 75 from both sides. 5a squared plus 30, 13a minus 84 is equal to 0. Alright, so I'm going to solve this 
I think it'll factor, but I'm just going to use the quadratic formula. A would equal negative 13 plus or minus the square root of 169 minus 4 times 5 times negative 84. That's going to be a plus. 4 times 5 times 84 is 1,680. And 2 times 5 is 10. Now 169 plus 1,680 is 1,849. So that's negative 13 plus or minus the square root of 1,849 over 10. And the square root of 1,849 is 43. All right, so that gives us two values. Let's see, I'd have a is equal to negative 13 minus 43 over 10. Negative 13 minus 43, that's negative 56 over 10, which is negative um, 28 fifths. Or a is equal to negative 13 plus 43 over 10. And that is 30 over 10, which is 3. Oh, now wait a second. a cannot equal 3. And here I'm told that a equals 3. Now when that happens, we say that this is an extraneous solution. And we do not need to check it. We'll only check the other, well, if we did check it, notice that the 3 would cause at least one of the denominators to become a 0. And so that's why it's called extraneous, because it causes undefined expressions. But now let's check the other solution. Um, and here I think I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator, because I don't feel like doing all the arithmetic in my head. So let me bring up my calculator, and I'll, put, I'll use my y equals screen. I'll put the left-hand side and my y1. So that would be 3 divided by quantity x plus 2 um, plus 5x in quantity divided by x minus 3 in quantity. The right-hand side I'll put in as my y2, and so that would be 75 divided by quantity x squared minus x minus 6. And I'm just going to use uh, the table feature. So let me check my table settings. It's on ask. If I go to the table, <coughs> let me clear out this whole stuff by hitting delete. Notice what happens if I type in 3 and hit enter. I get an error. Okay, It's not a solution. If I type in negative 28 over 5, I get 2.42248, etc. and I get the same value for both the left hand for both the y1 and the y2. So that tells me that negative 28 fifths is a solution. So my only solution for the equation is x is equal to negative 28 fifths.